Hi everyone, this is HJ. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black, Episode 9. Today we are tackling the Castelia City Battle Company. That's right. So as soon as we walk in, we are greeted by an individual. And people who work in this building have Pokemon battles, not opinion battles. You appear to be extra strong, so be careful. Well, what if I want to have an opinion battle? My opinion should be righter than yours, but... Alas, we'll see what happens. So last time we had reunited the Dancer Trio there. We got some free items along the way. A lot of free items, I should say. And we're slowly making our way through this city. And hopefully the battle company won't take a long time, but recording this after again, I, uh... A lot of battles. A lot of battles in the battle company. Ironic, right? You would f do a lot of battles in the battle company. It just doesn't make sense. But for the most part, a lot of the uh, trainers in the battle company, they only appear to have one or two Pokemon, and I'd say about 90% of the fights I have, except for the ending, which was a pain in the ass, I can normally get a type advantage out, so I get a Miyagi, he busts out some double kick, and first battle company person is done. And we have planned for some bite action, because Lick's kind of worth, nope, Fury Swipes is kind of worthless now, so bite for Pan for. And since we busted out Miyagi, we again get the double money due to the amulet coin, so... The whole mission I had going into the battle company... Oh, hold on, he's giving us free stuff, because he's taking a company tour, that's what he thinks we're doing. He's so happy he's going to give us timer balls, and... Quick ball makes it easier to catch Pokemon if you the pure beginning. Timer ball works a lot better against Pokemon you've been fighting for a while. I talked to him again, hoping for more free stuff, but such is not the case, so... Anyway, my whole overall goal slash idea mission for the battle company was to attempt to level everybody up to around the same level, so that way when we have to go fight the gym, it won't be as, you know, one-sided when Pan's here has to wipe the whole thing because it's bug type, and Quick Claw allows me to go first and bust out a yawn. And this should hopefully allow us to uh, get an advantage instead of using the type disadvantage. But our yawn kicks in. And this is where we try and start to uh, nickel and dime him down. But we give up and switch out to Panseer because we're Pan 4 because maybe he'll have better luck, I guess. No point in sending in one of the other two because. You know, they're already high enough levels it is, so I'm trying to level hands here in Pan for this episode, so everyone's around 20, 21-ish when we finish. Which would be great, because that way there's no striking majority like I'm so against. So... I think throughout the entire uh, run through the battle company, I don't actually go to a Pokemon Center if I remember correctly, I just use potions and stuff, because... Number one, uh, I don't really run out of the PP for the moves. Eh, PP. And number two, uh, I have enough money to buy more potions when I'm done, so like, what's the point of walking outside? And granted, it is like right next door, but you know, for something like this, when there's so many battles you gotta get through in one, one area, you really don't wanna cheap out like I did before. So, type disadvantage, switch in to Panpour, but he uses an next special defense, which is gonna make this battle go slightly longer than it should. Yeah, it's a little upsetting. But, ain't no thing for Panpour, he busts out some water gun action and rock and roll is done and I walk over here for the sole reason of wanting that item in the back left corner I could care less about the fight I want free stuff free stuff is awesome so finally Panseer gets a type advantage after all the battles I've swapped him out so we'll keep him in here for a one hit KO and we're not going to switch out because I think it's going to happen again. So Panzer finally gets his thing, gets all of his EXP that he deserves because he's one of the weaker levels on my team. So, uh, yeah, you probably haven't seen a Pokemon episode if you're a religious HJ follower in like five or six days because uh, real life got in the way a little bit. And over the weekend I recorded a bunch of commentary for other stuff. And there's a free arrive, it's a good item find there, but. Yeah, over the weekend, I uh, got a bunch of stuff recorded. I don't have uh, commentary up yet, but I started doing uh, Wii Black Ops again. And I'm probably going to do a Road to Commander for that. And 
I have to commentate all that, so I've got five or six episodes of that worth. Uh, me and my good friend, Father Corisante, we played through Streets of Rage 1 Saturday night on Sega. On the Wii Virtual Console, but it's for Sega, so... You know, we did that and recorded the commentary for that, so I gotta make episodes for that. Uh, I wanna get the uh, Castelia City gym done at least this week at some point. See what happens. In the midst of all this chaos, I still have to go to work. And uh, my local college convention that I graduated from, University of Buffalo, is having its gaming and anime convention this weekend, UBCon. That's in uh, five days from now, this is recorded on Monday, April 4th, 2011. So... I have to prepare for that, because I'm DJing both nights there, too. So it's going to be a busy week. And I have today, Monday, and tomorrow, Tuesday off. So... He gives me a scope lens. It's a better chance to make a critical hit, which is cool. But, got a whole lot of stuff done. Got a whole lot more stuff still to do. I have to come up with, like, two nights of DJing material still. It's really difficult for me, so... I also have, like, a, a food-related video I might post up, but we'll see what happens. And Hyper Potion, good stuff. And now we're fighting, like, Office Clerks and His Works Pokemon Battles, which would be sweet to get paid to do all day. I imagine you probably eventually get sick of it. So, Bubat, Bug-type, Pantsir, Fire-type, Incinerate. Kind of works a little bit, but I remember that, wait, Bite might work better, and it does. Again, not having played this for a few years since, like, original Gold Silver, like... You kind of forget your type disadvantages once in a while. Maybe I should, like, play with that chart next to me so I can go, Oh, well, I should just use so-and-so and be all strategic about it, but... And that wouldn't be as fun, so... Give Pan's here super potions. We don't have to go outside, because I'm lazy. And continue on through with the battle company. Yeah, I'm sorry the, uh... <clears throat> the gameplay really isn't as exciting as it could be this episode. It's, uh... Really no plot or story involved this time. It's just me running through the battle company and kicking a whole lot of ass. Mostly just doing it for the levels, so... Hopefully the commentary will at least, you know, make up for it. The HJ Real Life events and things of the sort, if you care, that I mentioned earlier. But... Soon, like I said, we'll hopefully do the Castelia City Gym. And that should be fun. I'm actually trying to, uh... Flesh myself out a little bit more and uh, there's a group of people on YouTube called the uh, Lost LPs who uh, give all commentators a one-time shot to be put on their channel as long as they put their uh, logo at the beginning of the video or whatever. So I'm thinking about doing that with the uh, Castelia City Gym one. I mean, I'll double post it on my channel, but I'm thinking about doing that so that way I can get a whole different group of audience members and I do some reorganization there to, uh, again, level up people better, but that's kind of what I'm in for, because, I mean, most people don't care about subscribers, they don't care about, you know, people who like and favorite and whatever, and, you know, I, I want to say I don't care, but I do a little bit, because I watch all these good Let's Players on YouTube, your, uh, your Tenno Capri Sons, and your Trucker Conroys, and, you know, whoever else, and I go, oh, these guys are really good, they got a loyal fan base and all this other stuff, and you know, I kinda wanna be like them, but at the same time, I know it's not gonna happen for a while. And to expect hell, even a uh, hundred subscribers by the end of the year for me would be a big deal, but it's probably not gonna happen. I'm at like twelve, so we're eighty eight away, I guess. I don't know. I'm going aiming for diversity, I'm aiming for uh, good content hopefully. If you let me know if the content sucks and try and fix it, but I just want to improve as a whole, so we check the stats of everybody, and you're the Pokemon trainer by the entrance. You've come this far, this makes you quite strong. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in the building? And he says he's the CEO of the company, but if you actually look at his intro here, he's the janitor. Janitor Geoff. Yanni the Yanithor. So he sends out a Trubbish, and I don't know what that is. I saw that, I'm just like, oh. Okay, well, it looks kind of grass-ish, so maybe we can burn it. That was my first instinct. And he uses some toxic spikes, which suck, because uh, 
Anytime someone comes in, they get hit with toxic spikes and it, they get poisoned and it sucks. So luckily we were able to switch before that happens and Incinerate does a decent amount of damage, but I get sludged and knocked out with a crit and that really sucks. So I don't want to send Pen4 back in because he's a little weak. So we'll bring Miyagi in, he gets hit by the poison spikes and gets poisoned, which sucks. But you know, it happens, I guess. Rock Smash doesn't really do a whole lot, but it takes like a, an eighth of his health bar away, so. This whole fight in general against the CEO janitor fellow there was really the biggest pain in the entire battle company, and I can see why he's last. Because <laughs> I'm trying to edge him out, and I finally do. The poison spikes are a pain, and if someone wants to go ahead and give me a heads up of what the type of that Pokemon was, so I know, that would be super. Because I don't think Trash is an official type yet. Buckley, he sends out his, uh, Machino there, and, uh, a couple double kicks, and he's taken care of, so I don't really have to worry about it. Which is nice. So, Trubbish was a pain in the ass, second guy not so much, and 6,000 bucks since Miyagi was involved. Not bad. This guy's myself as a janitor, because I don't know what type of trainers people have. Please accept this. It's an XP share. And this comes in handy because, say you have somebody weak, and you don't want to send them into battle first, like you're leveling like a level 4, let's say, bam, give them an XP share, it's like he was involved the entire time. So, I walked a little bit, and I checked to make sure, because in red, blue, yellow, if you were poisoned, and you would walk around, the poisoned Pokemon on your team would lose HP as you'd walk, and would make like the screen flash, and make that sound. But, apparently they got rid of that in black white. I don't know why. But... That was the battle company, and we're going to run back and get some heals before we continue on. So, let me know what you think. Uh, I realized it was all battling, but if that's your thing, then hopefully this episode was for you. If not, well, interesting stuff comes next time, I promise. We'll probably tackle the gym, or see if there's anything else to do. I haven't decided yet. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black.